Today in the Daily Dose, Alice in Wonderland Syndrome. First reported by British psychiatrist Dr. John Todd in 1955, Todd discovered that several of his patients experiencing severe migraines also suffered from dysmetropsia, or distortions of perception relating to objects or themselves, further speculating that author Lewis Carroll used his own migraine-driven bouts of dysmetropsia as inspiration for his 1865 publication of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Now known as Alice in Wonderland Syndrome, or Todd Syndrome, patients who suffer from AIWS can experience a sense that their bodies are smaller or larger than they actually are, known as micropsia or macropsia, respectively. In a rare syndrome that mainly affects children, patients can also perceive distant objects appearing closer than they are, known as pelopsia, or farther away than they actually are, known as teleopsia. Still other patients have experienced distortions to both touch and hearing. And while the cause of AIWS is currently unclear, the episodic distortions, typically lasting from 15 minutes to an hour, have been associated with migraines, head trauma, psychoactive drug use, and Epstein-Barr viral infections, which in theory at least, cause a downward shift in electrical activity and blood flow in parts of the human brain responsible for visual perception. According to a 2021 aggregation of peer-reviewed studies regarding AIWS patients, other infectious agents were also known to cause the condition, including varicella zoster virus, influenza, Zika virus, Coxsackie virus, Plasmodium falciparum protozoa infections, as well as Microplasma pneumoniae and Streptococcus pyogenes bacterial infections. Most recently, researchers in nuclear medicine have employed a technique known as technicium on patients undergoing episodes of AIWS, demonstrating a marked reduction in cerebral blood flow in cortical regions of the brain, including frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital, both in combination and isolation, which has since been verified by a second study that used single photon emission computed tomography to demonstrate reduced perfusion or blood flow in the temporal lobes of patients experiencing AIWS, making Alice in Wonderland syndrome a rare glimpse into the complexities of human perception. And there you have it, Alice in Wonderland syndrome, today on The Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.